didn't take long i got my passport and then after i got my passport they called it back they want to say i'm like oh <laughs> really? i'm like okay. there was wait 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 before they called you back you saw the visa on your passport, i'm thinking right? i'm thinking what on earth would they want it oh. for <gasps> Did they go through my past? You know, you don't know. I'm like, did I ever do anything wow. in the past? I'll Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new on this channel, you are welcome. You guys are my real G, like the guest of honor on today's episode of my visa interview experience. And if you're a returning subscriber, oh my gosh, you guys are my darlings as always welcome back thank you for stopping by for another video today guys for um the episode of my visa interview experience guess what our guest <laughs> you don't want to imagine like where i went to to drag her house like to pull her house all the way from south africa <laughs> well her name is kush our laha introduced herself but we call her kule like she's a friend of mine and today guys she'll be sharing a visa interview experience and how she was able to get the usa f1 student interview um student visa from south africa to study in the usa kush the floor is yours hey guys <laughs> oh my gosh hey guys oh my gosh <laughs> um actually uh, hello everyone my name is kutle i'm from south africa I am in the U.S. <laughs> and I'm here with Esther. And we are here with the Okay, so yeah, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. What's your um, What's your experience about um, getting a U.S. visa interview like? Was it your first attempt, or you had some previous experience, like previous interview attempts before the one that brought you to the U.S.A.? Okay, so starting from it in april right mm -hmm. so in april i get i get an email okay basically it was an email confirming that i have been admitted to the university happy 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 oh, so yes. then now the document starts getting being starting start getting in the service fee documents um i-20 I and letter of admission and all the information i'm like oh my goodness i am overwhelmed wow. at this point oh. i should be happy but i was actually overwhelmed but then that's when i had to start reading when i went to the u.s site i'm like okay what's the first thing to do before anything else okay. you know take it one step at a time. time so and then i i saw that the service uh the, the service fee yeah, that's the pay. that's the first step mm -hmm. in order for you to to be able to go to the i-20 mm -hmm. and stuff like that so i spent the service fee and i was just looking in like on the on the site and then going to the youtube also just to see how people have done it mm -hmm. and then and then uh, Okay, it was to uh, the next step was my I twenty basically for doing my visa at this point where I'm I'm applying um, for the interview visa okay. interview. Yeah. So That's filling the DS one sixty four. Yeah, That's DS. That's how you get to fill, put in your information mm -hmm. before the interview. Okay. Yeah. So I fill in that information and I fill in that information and obviously, it um, until and then I. Do I get, do you get the date from there after you filled in that information? So I think it's when you initiated the process to fill in the information, when you start um, mm. initiating the process of your DS-160 form, that's when you are able to like go in and pick a date. But yeah. You don't have to submit the form before you, you pick, pick a date. Yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it was <laughs> last year. <laughs> it was last year, 2021. A lot was happening. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, and then I did all of the DS-160 and then everything went through very well i paid all the information all paid all the um, fees that were applicable to that and then i picked a date for the visa interview before you move on to mm -hmm. the visa interview mm -hmm. these fees that you were paying were you able to pay them in your local currency or you needed to request for someone in the usa to pay for you in dollars 
for the, no actually in, I, I paid in my in my local okay. currency um okay. and i was just using i use my i use credit card i think yeah okay, it was, so I was it, it was easier for you to pay all those fees mm -hmm. in so my i local. know for mm -hmm. service fee mm -hmm. you can't pay in nigeria you can't pay service fee with, with naira. The, yeah. we use naira in nigeria yeah yeah so you need to request for my own when mm -hmm. i did mine I had to request for one of my mentors in the USA to, to pay, pay for me. Oh. So I, I was able to like get, uh, mm. do I say, sponsor mm -hmm, for to, my pay. to pay my service fee. Okay. So even for others that don't have sponsor to pay their service fee, they still like request for, for someone pay. to pay for them in the USA and then they send the Naira equivalent to the person. Oh no. So oh wow. You're able to pay with your local currency. It, with my local currency, oh, I was able to pay uh, everything that I was paying. I was using my local, local currency. currency. So nice. yeah, I was like, uh, maybe I was lucky in that regard. And then and then I have I get the I, um, I I go for the visa and they choose a date. It tells me in November I have to be in school on August twenty second. Basically, they were saying on the on the admission form that I can be here from the twenty yeah. second of July okay. to to any yeah, way. Yeah, thirty days grace period, period for your resumption. Yeah, and I'm like, what? November? <laughs> I was like, oh. And I'm like, okay, it doesn't make sense. How could you do, like people? Do, I'm thinking to myself, you know, that fall in America starts in in August, mm -hmm. the fall semester. So uh, why would you just be no in the interview? Yeah. And obviously, the interview is is not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So November is it's just it was just a no 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 for me. So I had to call the U.S. Consul consulate, and then I asked them, okay, um. I, I called them. I was like, "This is a problem." I don't know at this point. At this point, I didn't know that there's a, a you can a, you can choose. They can be yes, an expedited. Yes. I know okay. nothing. Remember, I'm mm -hmm. doing this on my own. Mm -hmm. So these people and it's COVID. You know, with the co mm. people are not answering calls. As I was just like, "Oh my goodness!" But for some, I I I decided, okay, let me call the U.S. consulate mm -hmm. and just to tell them what is happening and what ways I can they can make sure that i'm in the u.s by this time mm -hmm. and they and, and then this person told me no you can um, just choose an expedited um appointment. appointment i'm like okay i didn't know that that's this is possible mm -hmm. so i did that it was I, it, this is in may on the 25th of may okay. 26th of may um they've already confirmed okay you're gonna have your an expedited mm -hmm. um and, and date for if you interview it's going to be on 14th of june Okay. So I'm God. I'm like, oh yes. Okay. I was, I was <laughs> relieved. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I was relieved. And then they saying, and then I go for the interview on the 14th. Come the 14th, mm -hmm. I go for the interview. I'm scared. I'm scared. I am nervous. I don't know why because I've been looking at them because I'm like, there's a, there's a 50 50 uh, chance that i might make it or might oh, not no. okay but i'm like okay let me just go and you didn't you didn't have like any like mock interview like to prepare you before you went for your actual interview mm, i no. said nothing i i was i was relying on youtube videos i was mm. like I, but i had my story okay i had my story i, I don't yeah. want to lie and say uh, i had my story this is what i'm gonna say um I just looked at the YouTube videos and what things that are most important that they can require for me. So I prepared myself, in the, even though I didn't have any mock interview mm -hmm. with anybody, but I, I was able to prepare myself from mm -hmm. based on the YouTube video, YouTube questions that they asked. Mm -hmm. So when I went there, I was very early because I'm nervous. I, I cannot mm -hmm. be late. If I'm nervous, then <laughs> nothing else can go wrong. So. Yeah. Being late was not um, okay. not an it was not an option. I went there. I arrived. Was there queue? I was. Was, I was. There was. I don't. There was a queue because I was so early. I was the first one. <laughs> I can <laughs> not how early that would be. I was the first one. I was like, okay. And I went. I think it was like. Then there was a next next person after me. Also going to. She was going to uh, another um, area. You're also here in America. So I was okay. I got my stuff, all of my documents. I was the, the previous day. I was making sure that I have okay, my okay. admission, my 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 um, my scholarship um, info letters, 
everything emails i was print i printed everything down to, i was like I, there is no way i, I don't want to be turned back from that from from the interview because of stupid documents that are missing yes, so yes. i was like okay printed everything i arrived i'm early first thing they give you something you have to scan so that they know what number you are on the line so they gave me the number and then i go went in you know and then they do the security checks you know it, 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 even this process is just so it's so it, it's overwhelming it's like what are you it's the first thing like in, 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 when in your country you you are used to being searched and stuff but now all of a sudden it's just or oh, take off your stuff take off your shoes take out this and that it was just too much i'm like okay this is dramatic <laughs> it was just so dramatic i'm like okay these people are just scaring you they they they're not helping you calm down but i was like okay anyway i did my thing and then and then we went the next step was that we have to go to the interview section mm -hmm. And then I, we went there. Um, um, I was I, I was the first in the line, obviously. And then the interviews, it's like, you know, I don't know. In, in South Africa, there's bank, you know, bank tellers mm -hmm. and stuff like. It's mm -hmm. more like that. Yeah, I think yeah. it's more like that. So, so, yeah, too. Too. Okay. So they sit behind yeah. the counter. Yeah, yeah. And then you stand yeah. on the other side of the counter. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay. And you have different windows. Yeah. So you can be standing and be intervening, and there's someone beside you also doing the same thing. And you know what that happens somebody is talking the next time. and um, for me for me to talk i just need silence mm. so i was affected there was like all of us we are in different windows somebody is talking louder no. the other one is talking louder i'm like okay this is this but anyway i was like you have to make it work you cannot be you cannot make any excuses mm -hmm. so she asked first thing she just takes my documents and then basically what did she do my passport what is there were documents it was the passport the ds yeah, yeah. and the ds 194 i don't know yeah 164 form and that's the first thing they need like mm -hmm. before they even talk to you they want the documents and your passport okay and then and then as they are they're taking this information they're looking on the screen mm -hmm. they're not even looking at you mm -hmm. So where are you going? What school are you going? Where is the school in the US? Oh, she was asking you all those. Wow. <laughs> where is the school in the US? I'm like, okay, I tell them the details of the school and stuff. I the address and stuff. Because I'm I'm giving more, I'm trying to give them more information, but I wanna be as detailed, but I don't wanna go overboard because I might make mistakes. So I give it to her and then she's like, Okay, what are you going to study there? I'm like, I'm going to study theater. And then, isn't there theater in South Africa? <laughs> Why are you going all the way to America? What is it? What is it? Yeah, because I mean, I would assume mm -hmm. people from Nigeria mm -hmm. travel for higher education, mm -hmm. like graduate mm -hmm. studies, mm -hmm. even in South Africa. Yeah. So yeah. I, can, I can assume that would be like a tricky mm -hmm. question to answer, like, so why are you leaving your country? And then going there because you've got universities. I'm like, you know, I was like, um, obviously I had prepared myself for, mm -hmm. for this part because I knew that they had, um, I saw somebody who was asked the same question also. Mm -hmm. But for me, it was more like I want to explore. It was not about just acting or um, making up mm -hmm. an answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was more like for me, I wanted to go to America for theater, to study theater because I wanted to explore the technical part of, mm -hmm. of, of, of theater, not just like being on stage and stuff but be behind the stage and then i thought like um america is more advanced in terms of those things broadway and stuff like that and i was like america was the best option for me based on those um um based on that yeah yeah so i was like okay and then she's like okay and then what else did she ask okay and then she takes my the um she takes my documents she's like i think at that point she's like okay i'm convinced but hey 
she gives me give me the information from your school now she takes the documents mm -hmm. basically she reads the, um, i give her the email that i because I'm in here for email of admission i give her the letter of admission and then she wants to check the scholarship oh okay. so basically she's more like hey i'm not gonna admit basically she's saying i'm not on media i can admit in as much as i'm convinced by your story but i need to see whether you're not gonna come to america and be <laughs> destitute or something like that okay. i was like okay she looks at my and she looks at my the, the fact that i will um especially the scholarship form she looks mm. at it okay she's got my say she's covered she's got tuition okay. is covered everything is covered and then she fills in the information fills in the image silence the silence i'm like okay awkward <laughs> <laughs> people are still talking what is she saying and then she's like okay you got it yeah it's just like really? yeah so did, did you at that point did you feel like <laughs> your funding opportunity enhances um, in, um influences that decision oh definitely have i not had that funding i don't even think that she would have in as much as my uh, i would have said mm -hmm. anything to her but without the funding she wouldn't have i don't think I, it would have been hard for me mm. it would have been harder the, I think what convinced her was the fact that I had yeah, funding to yeah, you. to support myself. So I, I really think, because I think at, at that point when she saw that my, fund, my funding and stuff, that's when she was like, yeah, she can wow! go in. So, <laughs> so I was like, oh, I was so relieved. I'm like, I was like, oh. Then and, then, then, and then when you finish you're just walking fast because you're like you just want to go out and back and tell you sorry it was a mistake <laughs> i'm like okay i'm like okay and then i will go i leave them and then they say obviously they, they i have to choose obviously they, they're going to take yours the, the, Your the passport. passport and stuff keep it with them and then they you have to choose whether um you want it to be sent it to you or do you want to come pick, pick it, it up. up pick it up so for me what did i i chose the i wanted them to send it to me mm -hmm. yeah i did yeah i gave them i gave them the address but i gave them an address not to my place mm -hmm. but to a place where i knew that like a post uh, like a um, post office so yeah, I, yeah, yeah, it yeah it was guaranteed and it was closer to my place and then i got it but before that before they, they even sent it, there was a time, I think a week after. I know, a, two weeks after. No, I got it. They sent it for, for it was also in June. This also yeah. happened in June. in June. Yeah, 14 from, it didn't take long. I got my passport. And then after I got my passport, they called it back. <laughs> they want to see, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, okay. they wish. Wait, wait, wait. Before they call you back, you saw the visa on your uh, I'm seeing, right? I'm thinking, what on earth would they want it oh. for? <gasps> did they go through my past? You know, you don't know. I'm like, do, did I ever do anything wow. in the past? I was like, wow. I was like, no, what is happening? I was so scared. And then they were like, no, we gave you a single entry. Oh. Or as opposed to multiple entry. Okay. Yeah. So oh. they had to change those days. So, oh. God. Oh. I was like, <laughs> I'm going to jail. <laughs> going to jail. You know, you're not going to USA. You're going to jail. <laughs> but I was like, okay. So it, even that process was easy. And then by, I think the second week of July, everything was sorted and everything was okay. And then uh, that's when, that's how it went actually. Okay. So I have two mm -hmm. questions. Mm -hmm. The first would be, let me start from the last question. Mm -hmm. So when they called your passport back, did you have to pay to mail it to them or you took it to the embassy or how did you Oh, I had to, to I had to take it to the embassy. I had to do wake up again, set an appointment just to, for oh. them to, just for me to deliver oh, my, my, my passport. Oh, did you have to pay to make No, no, no. I, I didn't have, you don't have to pay. You just set an appointment and then they take it and then you go. Okay, yeah. they mail it back to you. They mail it back to you, yeah. Okay. So you don't have to pay there twice at this oh, point, okay. yeah. Then my second question is, in Nigeria, <laughs> at least now they've cancelled it, but I remember, <laughs> okay, so when I did my interview, after your interview, mm -hmm. if you're going to get the visa, like mm -hmm. after they already approved your visa mm -hmm. and you're dropping your passport behind, mm -hmm. so there's a fee they call reciprocity fee. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's about, I'm not sure how much that, maybe about $120 then, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. depending on the conversion rate. But then it was about 60,000 mm -hmm. um, Naira. Mm -hmm. So we had to pay that. I, that's just what you pay. Apart, so this is apart from service fee, mm -hmm. you know, service fee and every other thing, visa fee, you pay that before your interview. Mm -hmm. So this one is as you're leaving your passport, mm -hmm. the window you're going to drop your passport, you drop your payment, your service fee payment in cash mm -hmm. also. And then like, I think two days or three days after my interview, they canceled the reciprocity fee payments. And all of us that had our interview before, before they were like, how we wish that our interview <laughs> was after. And you know the point, I thought, that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's like, a lot of money. You can do something else. else. Oh, you're, my. you're traveling now. Yeah, that's you true. Money. So my question is, do they have that kind of fee in South Africa? Nope. I don't think so. No. Uh, yeah. No, I think, wow, how much I paid for stuff, I, it was... The service fee was the 300 USD yeah, dollars. 300, the, 300, 300, yeah. 350, yeah. yeah, so I think it was 5,000 something in South African rents. And wow. then I had to pay 2,400 for the visa interview. The visa fee. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then 150 to 100, 150, like 100 wow. in rents to get it delivered to my place. Oh. That's yeah oh, so that's nice mm -hmm. i mean in nigeria yeah, now they no longer do the reciprocity fee what is it for ah, I know. <laughs> the reciprocate <laughs> <laughs> <What is it? laughs> so i mean to be sincere I'm, i don't have like mm. detailed information now mm. so, i don't know i have yeah. never heard but that's so they, interesting they, they, i think they stopped paying that mm. now, so we no longer have that even the when I was in my interview, I never found out like where what? exactly that was from. I was just like, let me just you don't care. You I just, you just, say. Say. Like, this, like, this <laughs> that's interview. it. Too. Yeah, I mean that's really nice. I mean your story was quite challenging, especially for the fact that they called back. Oh gosh, you know, I was, I was, I was scared. I was looking at my past. I was like, ooh, mm. that 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 power is scary. Mm. Yeah. So what advice? What challenges did you, I mean? You mentioned mm. one that mm. it was like getting resources mm -hmm. related to like. South Africans mm -hmm. experience when it comes to US visa interview. Mm -hmm. So what other challenges apart from this did you think you had while preparing for your visa interview and what's your advice for other South Africans that are watching you? For me, I'm like, even though there's a lot of information on the net, just do your due diligence and call the US consulate for yourself because the laws that apply to every like whatever mm -hmm. the general laws that are on their side may not be what uh, is happening in south africa mm -hmm. for example like so you need to um if you there's something you don't understand take call them just call them and they, they do pick up they do pick up their call especially in south africa they do and they are willing to give you more information and um just read a <laughs> Oh, I hate, I, but that's all you can, you have to read all those documents that they have and make sure that you, the moment you start getting your documents, you have a file where you just keep all the information, especially when you, before you do the interview, keep all the info and keep it, when you go to the interview, take everything so that you don't be going back. I don't even think they give you so much chances. The way that their structure, the, the, the way they've structured their interview, I don't think it's more like, oh, I forgot something. Can I go? No, girl, you're wasting our time. Of course, when you <laughs> go out of the door, you're out of the interview. <laughs> they you don't go, care. You don't go pay another fee again to come back. They, to are, they don't care. So mm -hmm. don't be doing, don't be spending money. Don't do mistakes like that. Careless mistakes like that. Try to Try to um, prepare, prepare yourself, prepare. If you can have, if you have somebody do the mock um, I interview, I think it helps you to be more confident in terms of speaking to somebody. Because I remember when I was speaking there, I was like, Is, am I projecting my voice clearly? Am I clear enough? And yeah, also it, it helps you not to over, you know, talking gibberish you know talk, over talking mm -hmm. you know because you don't want to you don't want to give them little but you don't also over want to communicate so yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's that's the that's the advice i can give them you know Thank uh, you. one question i have because hmm. i know like hmm. in nigerian embassy i did my interview in lagos hmm. lagos state embassy hmm. and so there are these people that do like business mm -hmm. around the end around the embassy mm -hmm. for you to like make copies of your documents. Mm -hmm. Did you have that in South Africa embassy? 
Oh my gosh. And those people, mm. they extort. Yeah. From students or like people attending this interview because they know mm -hmm. you cannot go outside that area to mm -hmm. go and make photocopies for example if you forget to make photocopies mm -hmm. or to have any necessary printouts mm -hmm. and you need to print out from mm -hmm. a business center around the mm -hmm. embassy you're going to pay a lot to do that because they know you don't have an option to go outside, go outside. Yeah, so do you have something like that i'm pretty outside? sure there is i i it's not it's not something that is far-fetched but because i was so prepared okay. i did i didn't even have enough. to even have to look at those oh, options same thing with me i had everything <laughs> i needed so because I, I was aware that mm. such mm. such people happen and mm. you're going to spend a lot to yeah. make copies of your dog so i had everything I needed. yeah I'm, i mean i'm just curious no i'm pretty sure because i know with the home affairs which is another for for, for local like local so that when you do your ids there are people who do those things so there is no way not it would not happen in the in the um u.s embassy also but also the u.s embassy they very i don't know in south africa they just it's just this place it's so the security is quite tight I don't know whether they would allow that. I went to the Johannesburg, by I went to the Johannesburg embassy, by the way. The security is quite tight, but I, South Africans will find a way to make money. <laughs> the way I trust me, I'm <laughs> pretty sure. I think that's finding a way to make money or to offer. I think it's an African thing. No problem. I'm probably they will be like, sis, come here. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty oh, sure. I'm pretty sure. But thank you so much, Kush. Mm -hmm. Like I really enjoyed my time with you, and thank you so much for sharing your mm -hmm. interview story. Yeah. Thank you so much for scaring us <laughs> with your recalling of your passport. But even I felt scared. For you. But at least I'm glad you're here now in the US. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Mm -hmm. I wish you all the best with your studies mm -hmm. and keep going, babe. You're going. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, also for watching Thank up to this you. moment. South Africans in the house, this video, this interview, Kush story is specifically for you. I hope you've been able to like pick some leaves. I hope you've learned from my experience. If you have any questions, like if you're preparing for your visa interview and you're from South Africa and you're watching this video and you have any questions about visa interview experience, Kush will be in the DM to answer like any questions you have kindly drop them in the comment section then i'll get back to answer them or i can refer kush to answer them for you guys i really appreciate you for watching up to this moment you guys are my real g you know thank you so much guys and i'll see you on the next episode of my visa interview experience till then guys stay tuned kush peace